to firstly, I want to say a massive thank you to Funimation for inviting us down to watch the early exclusive screaming of JJK Zero or Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, which is the prequel to the main Jujutsu Kaisen series that's going on now. Todd's first question that we're going to ask is, how do you find the anime, well, how do you find the movie, and out of 10, what would you give it? So the movie I felt was a faithful adaptation of the prequel manga. It was a really easy and enjoyable watch. The animation was stunning as well. And I think overall I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. The only reason why I knock off a few points is because um, the fight scenes we got and the choreography we got was excellent, but we got we just needed a lot more of it, I think, in my opinion. Um, you might disagree, but I think when I watch shonen anime movies, that's what I'm there for. <laughs> like, I think I was saying before when we, right after we left the screening, like that's why I watched Broly three times in the cinema because it was just Thank fight, you. I fighting. Think that's it. But like, it was really good. It, it was like, like yeah, it adapted the manga really well. It was really easy to follow the story, and um, yeah, it didn't feel like anything was lacking. Like it felt like yeah, they covered all the bases. I just wish there was more choreographed fight scenes because what we did get was so good so I just wish there was a bit more yes, man. Yeah. so do you know what I agree I'm probably gonna give it probably just a seven for me there was two things that I didn't particularly like it doesn't have that amazing musical score that every single like shonen that's, and that's like you know true. that opening song that, that, that just slaps for yeah. every single anime movie I don't think there was anything that was musically hitting for me like Especially for how good the opening of the anime was, that yeah. I was like, "This is what." Like JJK so had like, a bit disappointed. yeah, the like the reputation the anime has. Had it's just the soundtrack box. was amazing. So yeah, I, I think that's what made it. Because I think I think we all agreed that it just felt like watching an extra long anime episode or a few anime episodes yeah. back to back. I think that's what stopped it from feeling like a movie, like a yeah. overarching musical score, and then not enough of the like fight scenes kind of thing it just felt yeah it, what we got was so good it's like just like stretch it out but overall i think i would decorate definitely recommend it it was an enjoyable watch for sure would you recommend it to somebody yes especially if you're an anime only definitely watch this movie it fills in a lot of the gaps i think that would that be happens. filled in before season two airs um so I, I think if you're gonna carry on with the anime like you kind of have to watch this um and it's a good it's a good it's a good movie and like i know people are like manga snobs and that but like prime said if you watch this movie you've covered all, all the bases in fact some things are even fleshed out better i think in this yeah. movie than in the manga so yeah definitely watch this if you can to carry i on, completely yeah. agree my last question is how does it compare to i don't know the last two previous animes you watched um anime movies you watched I had my hero movie remind me of the name it was, it was all right it was it was cute <laughs> I guess. I was like you were talking about Dragon Ball Z Broly. That that that, that was creepy. years ago. Broly felt more like a movie, yeah, to me than yeah. JJK Zero. Hey, look, tell me how many fights in JJK you, in this movie you remember? Like you can probably remember the Okotsu big fight scene where yeah, he with, um, does what he does, yes, not spoiling. Yes, and then like you know, two goes your hands. There's yeah. ten seconds of Nanamin <laughs> when he's sparring with Maki. Oh, that is a good sparring session. That was a good. That was a good scene. Though. The curse in the school. It does that count? It wasn't really a fight scene. It was just when we first see like Rika in action. Yeah, we see Rika. So I think the last two I watched were Mugen Train, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I think Mugen Train might be one of the best shonen movies in ages. Like, no disrespect to the JJK film, they did an amazing job with what no, they were giving. It. it was amazing. Like, very good. Better than obviously My Hero. Not as good as Broly and or um, Mugen Train. However, it is a good watch. Yeah. And I definitely feel like if they were to have, if they were to create another JJK movie that just like doesn't sit in the canon in any way, just this is just a JJK yeah. movie, I feel like it would be excellent. 100%. Would be we get amazing. Gojo hands, and that's what I really want. Yes. And I feel like Gojo, that might be in the works. So, <laughs> so, yeah, it just gave me endorphins. It was great. So, I mean, it's not better than Mugen Train or Broly, but it's better than My Hero's most recent film. And that's, in my opinion, not hard to do. So it sits kind of in the middle tier of shonen anime, anime movies. And you know me, I watch a lot of rubbish. So yeah. I can tell you what's really rubbish. Yeah. I think my final verdict on this movie is that 
sticking with my seven and a half out of ten rating for a movie for a movie whose per which for a movie that the purpose is to just adapt the prologue of the manga it did everything it needed to do i think i think i think it it does good i think it could have been done as a series you know mm. but you know, that's 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 not what we had to ask today like it, for a movie it's it's, it's as a movie it's, it is what it is could have been better as a series i you know seven i think seven out of ten is a good rating for it mm -hmm. uh, so yeah i think that's it go and watch it <laughs>